So when they did that, what they showed was in the first adjusted model, which was adjusted for maternal age and BMI, you had almost a 50% increase in live birth if you use the double embryo transfer. So that is a big number, a very, very big number. And then at the same time, if you controlled for every other thing, like basically the endometrial preparation, the fertilization type, cycle number, all those things they found significant in the former table that I showed you, they actually found a 55% increase in live birth rate. So should everybody be asking for a double embryo transfer? Well, the answer is no, you should not all be answering, asking for a double embryo transfer because there are risks that come along with having twins. Maternal risks, hospitalization, stillbirth, miscarriage, bleeding, hypertension, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, need for operative delivery. Fetal risks, if they come early and they come very early, you have all sorts of complications with the pregnancy. I won't list them all off, they're terrifying. And then social risk, because it's an 80% divorce rate when you have twins. So it's not all fun and games. There are side effects and impacts from this stuff, but if it's imperative for you to get a higher success rate, you will actually get a higher success rate, even if you're transferring a bad embryo with a good one. So for those of you that are kind of in desperation mode or maybe you haven't done PGT on your embryos and you're older, it may actually be beneficial to transfer two rather than one. Is it enough to make me change my mind about what we're doing? It might be. I mean, we're bound by regulations with government funded cycles, but for the other ones, if we don't have PGT testing, it may actually be a prudent thing to consider doing double embryo transfers instead of single if the patients are prepared for the impact of having a very high rate of having twins.